Hey folks, before we begin, I just want to let you know I'll be on break. I'm taking the entire month of November off, but I'll return December 3rd. It's been two years since I've had a proper vacation. I need this. So, funny story. So this episode was supposed to be a Halloween recipe involving meatballs. Unfortunately, I completely misread the calendar and now I can't make them. So instead, we're just going to make a nice simple marinara sauce to go with the meatballs that would have otherwise been made. Okay, to begin, grab yourself a large pot and put it over medium heat. Now after it heats up, let's toss in two thirds a cup of olive oil. Then add one onion diced. Toss in one teaspoon of salt. A quarter teaspoon of red pepper flake. One teaspoon of dried oregano. And one teaspoon of dried basil. Yeah, I like to add the spices now instead of later because once you fry it with the onions, it brings out more flavor. Oh boy, some Italians are probably screaming at me and it might put me in the same grave as Billy Bats. You know, given how my life's been going, I really don't mind. Okay then, saute this for about five minutes. Okay, once we sweated down the onions a bit, time to move on to the next phase. Toss in two tablespoons of tomato paste and six cloves of minced garlic. Of course it's a lot. You've been watching me for how long and you just found out now that I'm a garlic holic? Cook it for about a minute or two. Okay, minutes up. Next step, add one cup of white wine. Now, let's add two 28 ounce cans of San Marzano tomatoes. Add some water, swirl them around to get any excess sauce left. Add half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. Okay, bring this to a boil. Okay, once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat down to medium-low. And let this simmer for 30 minutes while giving it an occasional stir. Okay, after half an hour, this is what our sauce should be looking like. And finally, let's give it a quick hit with the Immersion Blender. Pasta sauce a la vista, baby. All right, here we are, a nice smooth consistency. Let's give it a taste test. A little bit more salt. And a pinch of sugar. All right, the sauce is ready for any pasta you throw at it. Oh, and if, one thing, if you want something to dip in the marinara sauce, can't go wrong with sourdough bread. Unlike raw onion like in that one TikTok video. God, the only thing stupider on that website other than that recipe is the amount of woke political hot takes from teenagers who never took in a poli-sci course ever in their lives. I wait for the future, I really do. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Mark my words. I would. Mark my words. Next Halloween, I will come out with that meatball video. <laughs>